Hello friends, and welcome to the second part of the education series on blockchain exploits. In this video, we will perform a flash loan example together. This video is for people who want to get familiar with the nature of the flash loans. You can follow me step by step. Now, let's talk a little bit about the flash loans first. Uh, some decentralized ap uh, finance applications allow you to take loans. Unlike a bank, DeFi applications do not expect you to have a collateral. This is good for us, because it means that we don't need to have half a million dollars worth of property to borrow, let's say, $300,000. But unlike the traditional loans, we are expected to pay back in the same transaction. Yeah, that's true. In the same transaction, we receive the loan and pay the loan back. This allows us to use the money to make profit through arbitrage and other opportunities and make very big gains with the borrowed money immediately. And the best part is, if our proposed transaction is not profitable, it just doesn't go through. And the only loss we incur is the transaction fee. But if it goes through, it means that we are likely to earn good money. So, let's take a look at a flash loan that generated a ton of money. Here you can see somebody borrowed $2 million worth of BNB and used, on, used them on BurgerSwap to earn more money. So, as you can see, there are a lot of, a lot of transactions within just one transaction. So, normally, performing this many trades in one transaction requires very high level coding skills. But the script that I provided in the description, you can just follow my footsteps and perform a successful flash loan. Okay, first we need to go to remix.ethereum.org. Maybe some of you are already familiar with this website because this is the website where people code and deploy the smart contracts of very famous tokens we use every day, such as Ethereum, BNB, or Cake. Then we go to second tab, the Solid Compiler tab, and click on Compiler. Then choose 050 here. Then go to first tab, click on Contracts, click on Create New File. Then start typing initiate flash loan.sol. Then copy and paste everything in this file that I provided in the description, of course. Then go back to second tab on the left and click on compile. Done. Let's go to third tab, which is deploy and run transactions. We are now getting closer to perform the flash loan. Uh, okay, now we have to choose the environment, inject web 3 Then you will see that your account here with the wallet address and yeah, okay, amount of BNB in it. As you can see, I have very little BNB so far, but at the end of this video, hopefully, I will have more. Uh, then click. Uh, the arrow next to deploy okay so let me talk about the script briefly this script will create a virtual token uh, so that we can do the operations loan uh, loan operations so for that we have to write any name for the token like my token you can write anything like token symbol NYT then write these numbers, then click on transact. As you can see, we will create a smart contract to initiate the flash loan. Let's wait a little bit. It's pending still. Oh, okay, all right. Now we have created the initiate flash loan smart contract. And this is the address where uh, the transact where we will send the transaction fee. Okay, now we copy the address to initiate flash loan. 
we said flash loan function uh, and send the transaction fee so that we will have enough to perform flash loan in the next step. So the transaction fee required is usually around 0.2 BNB. And if the transaction fails, you, you can try the same steps with more BNB as gas. Okay, as you can see, this also went through. Uh, done. We go a little bit down and click the arrow next to initiate flash on smart contract. And yeah, okay. Now we will start our flash loan function. Let's see. Okay. When we click confirm, we will see that if our flash loan was successfully performed or not. Let's do it right away. Okay, it is pending. Whoa, it seems like it worked. All right. Now let's check our wallet. And yeah, um, as you remember, I had very little, like 0.34 BNB, and I have like 2.91 BNB right now. Uh, this is like 2.57 BNB uh, in profit as a result of this script. And um, if you want, let's examine what the script, uh, what did the script do briefly. So I explained it here. Flash loan borrowed 3,157 BNB from multiplier finance to make an arbitrage trade on the AMM DEX pancake swap with this function. Then to prepare the arbitrage, BNB is converted to BUSD using PancakeSwap swap contract, <coughs> excuse me, uh, with this uh, function. Then the arbitrage converts BUSD for BNB using BUSD slash BNB pancake swap and then immediately converts BNB back to uh, this amount of BNB using BNB BUSD uh, baker swap. And uh, this function uh, yeah using this function after the arbitrage uh, 3168 bnb is transferred back to the multiplier to pay the loan plus fees and this transaction costs 0 0.2 bnb of gas and this function is used for this so note that the transaction sender gains 2 to 4 bnb from arbitrage in this transaction uh, we received 2.57 BNB, but there were some uh, transactions that I received more BNB. So this transaction can be repeated as the price changes all the time. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, so do not forget, uh, either we get this loan and we manage to perform the steps and repay the loan, or the whole transaction fails. So at the worst case scenario is that we lose some network fees and the best case scenario is, as you can see, a lot of BNBs. So it has to do with the price changes and other metrics. It depends on the time of the day. It depends on the cost of BNB. It depends uh, on the buyer and sellers at that moment. I performed this multiple times and only very, very few times it failed. So I think that's it for today. Uh, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest updates about the exploits in the ecosystem. Uh, hit the like button if you find this video helpful. And if you perform the flash loan and earn some money using these steps, uh, drop a comment below. Thank you for it. Thank you for watching. All right.